Hello everyone and welcome to that third episode of What Went Wrong, a show where I talk over some clips to show you what went well, what went badly, how you can improve and give you small tricks about the game based on my personal opinion. So let's go into it. So first clip you'll notice I get both creep and then I stop to avoid getting uh, the the heal from the heal. I do that because I have enough heal already. I'm not gonna take every single heal available on our side of the map because if a teammate need it afterward, well, I need to test, uh, let something for them. There is all, however, some uh, obviously exception to that. If you are chased, take both heal. If you, the enemy team is pressuring you, you should take both as they cannot have it. Uh, if no one of your teammate need it, kill them so you get the solo. And uh, finally, if your teammate is too low, you should just take it so he understands that he's supposed to back uh, fully into the base and stop dying. All right, uh, so now like for the past couple of the, mm, seconds, you've seen a clip of a Rylan fighting up top. Uh, that was a, a pretty terrible player. I'm sorry for you, uh, Mr. Uh, Gazao, but it was pretty bad. So right now, uh, like you can see on the minimap, they've destroyed uh, the bottom turret and they are in base. We wrote it down in the chat, we pressed every single key we could, and he took uh, like a good half a, half an hour of not doing anything before understanding to back. So now you're gonna see the point of view of uh, the red team. So they're just attacking, they have a lot of creep, and they just keep on going and going. We're gonna die one by one, and the railing, as so before, is just uh, not doing much. It's a common mistake that I see a lot in lower league. It's just a train when they have creep and they keep going one on one and and winning. So uh, she should have obviously back and try to defend with me uh, instead of uh, doing absolutely nothing up top. Uh, it's no need to talk more about it. Uh, I think all the people understood now that uh, you should go back into your base uh, if needed because like she's still not here she's still like up top you can see it on the minimap she's still doing absolutely nothing and i'm pointless in the defense here i got pick up too and i can finally come all right uh next clip so on that one uh, i want to talk about gameplay style so if you have a team that play aggressive you should adapt it to play aggressive with them if you have a team that play really passive you should not play too aggressive or you're gonna be or you're gonna die on the first clip you can see that i go full in my team doesn't follow so we only get one kill out of two on this clip however my team will follow as the the froggy go in i go with the froggy if i didn't he would have died from the turret and uh, the penny so i had to come too so it's a it's a team commitment uh you either go together or don't go together but you need to stay together following that same clip so lunista is trying to depush us he, he go on the right i think it's pointless to attack him since he is powerless so i keep I go, i'm going left again to kill the creep and uh, do some core damage my teammates end up having the kill so now it's a wipe and uh, we obviously uh, can depush. Maybe Lone Star should have straight up back, let the turret die and depush on the base waiting for his teammate. It's not a big mistake, but it cost him the game. So I've talked a lot about teleportation, I did a full tutorial about it, but there's one aspect of it that I didn't uh, talk enough about, is baiting. So on that first clip, it's just to say that, again, if you're in a bad position, just back, see his range doesn't hit me, so I can teleport, I would have been fucked up otherwise. On that clip, however, I want to go on badass. So he's pretty low, he's teleporting, he bait her, Raiden go out, he can easily kill her. So don't forget, you can use uh, teleportation as a bait. This next clip is all about reading the minimap. So Genzi, as a sentry, really skilled sentry, I have to say, saw the clone coming with explode. He has his teleport up top, so he can teleport, avoid the damage, and uh, put the black hole, and obviously our clunk, so look you blue, that did it amazing job by following us in solo queue it was actually insane how much synergy we had uh, obviously saw it coming and uh, immediately went for the explode and the bite when uh, our the enemy clunk was trapped so the point here is that sentry can easily dodge the damage uh, by teleporting away uh, from the explode and then set up a trap all right for that clip it's all about badass so they have, they have a fight so 2v2 uh, the railing is still alive because of a really good save from uh, Ulip. And now Badass has a, t a decision to make. Either he go up, down, right, or left. 
up, uh, right or left will have killed him because of the snipe. So the only real solution he had was to drop through fire even though he was really low. He ended up picking up the HP at 0 HP literally. Uh, this is possible because uh, Awesome Nuts take into account decimal. So he was at 0, 0 0.5 or 4 and it just made up to uh, 0. Uh, he took it, then he went back on the left to the hill again and came back fighting for another 3v1 and got the first kill. So my point here is don't be afraid of fire if that's the only solution to avoid some uh, bigger damage or a death. Uh, also, there's a way to drop through fire way faster. So uh, I think everyone know it, but in case you don't know it, uh, tell me in the comment section and I will like, cover it next time. All right, and to finish, I will talk about uh, telefragging, uh, tele jumping with uh, Sentry. So it's what you can see on the screen. It's literally uh, Sentry putting putting up his teleportation, taking a jump pad, pressing the teleportation uh, button while being midair, and the synergy, not the synergy, the propulsion, like the acceleration, is still going to be here, so he can fly across the map, put his black hole, and save us. So we use that uh, mostly because. Uh, it's fucking it's fucking funny and cool, but also he allows Genzi to be with us way faster because uh, you can use it at multiple different uh, position throughout the map using different jump pad and different speed and everything. So you can basically uh, be everywhere even faster than before. Uh, if you're not really aware of that, I could try to make a full tutorial on it, but it will take some time. That's uh, it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and you discovered some new stuff. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will all see you on Sunday for another full game or next uh, Monday, Tuesday for a uh, one video. Also, uh, next week, since I'm on holidays, it's going to be a big tutorial about uh, either dance or totem. I'm not sure uh, which one I'm going to edit yet. And with that, I let you, I will let you with a fail of uh, me recording. Goodbye. Alright, next clip, it's all about badass. So they start to set up a kill, they miss, uh, he's gonna get sniped by Raylin, and here, he has to make a choice. Right, go, uh, rap, 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 wait, we rap. Fuck, I'm tired, guys.